Good morning. Good morning. Today we are going to do something we don't usually do. We are going to be photographers for our friends' restaurants. We're going to shoot all 40 dishes they have. <laughs> and we're going to eat a lot. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'd probably be more eating than shooting, but <laughs> I'm excited. It's going to be fun. Yeah. Never done something like that before, but it's nice to improve my photography skills. Yeah. So let's go eat 40 dishes. It's a good way to start a morning. So you're ready to get some epic stuff? Yeah. Me too, I'm excited. Eating a lot. Finally, yeah. 50 plates. Yeah, I didn't have breakfast. Yes, always. Oh, okay, 50 plates. 50 plates. And Yanni's gonna eat 30 of them. Yeah. Everything without meat. I'm fine. Well, I'm excited. Let's set up before there's too much people. Yeah. Yeah, Yanni's really the food shooting expert. So this is all the stuff that we are going to shoot and eat. Looks wo looks wonderful. So you're the food photographer. We're building up the, our little studio here. <laughs> looks good, guys. So we're ready to shoot. We have a little bit of tape. Like that. Yeah, and then we, we don't can... need tape. That is one looking, pro looking photo studio. Very, very nice. And a fa uh, Instagram food expert. You look like a studio photographer, Yanni. I do, right? Yanni's drooling. She's like, oh. Can't wait to eat. Yeah. It's fun, though. Yep, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Good? I can see you working with this. Is it fun? It's very fun. We should get a big tripod, though. How much of everything do you want to eat? Well, the fries and the salad on this one. Yun and Yanni in the middle of a shopping center. They turned it into a photo I shoot. I feel like a true assistant. Yeah. Like the person that doesn't have any other skills than holds I think something. the security are complaining that we turned the center into a photo shoot. No. Probably. There we go, I'm gonna film them. The benefits of shooting. You're not gonna grab one, Yanni? Of course. I've been eating so much. Okay. Oh yeah, we have much more. We have much more. Yeah. So much food and drinks. We have much more. We have, we have pasta still. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah, we have curry. So we are not going to leave here hungry. No. Uh-oh. Truffle. No. This should keep us full for at least six days. Uh-oh is an understatement. Let's put this away and go straight towards food coma. Culinary experience. This is how you know the needs. All the time. <laughs> All right, let's dig in. So we just finished a monster lunch. Yeah. I can barely walk. But the good thing is that part of today's mission is to walk around and do a bunch of things. So I need milk for my coffee. We need some new duct tape, a couple batteries for a little walk. Then I need to go swimming. Me too. So mission one completed, got myself a new carte de séjour because I lost the Monegasque identity card. But now I have a new one, which is real nice. Did you get it right away? No. No, but it will be there. It's one of those things that you need, you know you need to do, but it's like easy to not do it. So it feels good. I thought you were getting ice cream. Finally, I found frozen berries. As long as you have frozen berries, life is good. Yes. <gasps> I am really missing our golf cart. Me too. This whole walking around with heavy stuff and it's way too warm out. It's not good. I don't like it. This is the last bit of walking that I will do. I hate walking. The only good thing about Monaco walking home is that you can look at boats. Nice boats. Boats that you can live in. Yeah. I wanna, I really seriously wanna get a boat and just live on a boat all year. No, I don't live on a boat. Okay, well, what if I live on it and you come visit? Okay. Okay, maybe not live on it, but like have the opportunity to go on it. That would be really I mean, nice. I love boats. Yeah, you've been more on boats than I have, so you probably know better. I've been on five days. Yeah. Maybe that's a bit soon to do a commitment to yeah. buy, sell a house and buy a boat. Well, everything I do, I, I get so into it. The really? only thing I think about. 
Yeah, that is me, 100%. If I get into something a little bit, it's like all the way. So now I Google boats and how to become a captain and everything there is to know. There's so much nice stuff out here. Gotta work harder first though. So the plan when we came back from our little walking around Monaco trip was to do a couple emails and then go to the beach real quick. We ended up doing a lot of emails and now looking over I can see that Yanni's sleeping so I don't think we're going anywhere anywhere anytime soon. But it was nice to get some work done. But I know that one thing that I have to do is put the battery into the mic. I have been running the Leica internal mic and that is why the sound has been real crappy the last few days So I apologize for that, but from now on it's gonna be good It was just really nice not to buy a battery because when you don't have a battery You don't have a mic and if you don't have a mic your camera is so much nicer to carry around But now it's gonna get good again So I'm gonna work on that and then I'm gonna try to figure out what to do for the rest of the, the rest of the day It's kind of the plan I think I fixed the mic Did you? And you're awake? Yeah, almost. Do you want to do something? No. You just want to stay in all day? Yeah. Hmm. What else could we do in Monaco? Sure you don't want to go swimming? Go for a walk? No? Yanni's tired today. Normally she drags me out and do a million things. Okay, we'll check back in a second. See if we figure out what to do. But I'm excited. We have a mic again. No more disturbing sound when I'm editing, hearing traffic and stupid stuff. So it turns out that both me and Yanni were too tired to go out and do something. We've been kind of running around for the last few weeks, so we decided that we're gonna have a nice, chill night at home. But before we end this, I thought it was time to bring up, well, make a mini Q&A kind of, because I always read all the comments and I see that there's been a lot of comments on a lot of things, so I figured that'd be a good time to set things straight. First question that I've seen everywhere is that people have been posting a link to Richard's boat asking why is he selling it? He's not saying that he's selling it. It's just simply an old ad that is still online. So no, the boat is not for sale. So I'm glad we straightened that out because I've seen a lot of comments. Oh, as we're on the boat subject, um, there was a lot of people asking who the lady was that joined us on the boat to Ibiza. And she was a uh, captain who was in training, so needed the hour as well as uh, taking care of the boat. She was incredible helping us cook and clean and we were really spoiled by the end. But it was kind of perfect for Richard to have someone who's good with a boat that would be staying up at night as I was usually editing or sleeping. So it was great to have an extra hand. So now you know who that is. It wasn't a lover or a hooker or a mother or all the different kind of weird things I heard in there. We haven't really said when Marcus is coming back. We are trying to figure out our schedule we are now tomorrow flying to Mallorca for roughly a week, 10 days. And then we're flying back to Mar Mar Marbella. So we're trying to figure out really kind of the plan for the next few weeks so that it's pretty nice when sort of I'm in Monaco and I'm here with Yanni and it's good to get some alone time. And I really love doing the vlogs. But on the other hand, when you go on trips, it's really fun to have Marcus to travel with. So we're trying to, we still haven't really decided exactly what, what, where and how, but we are working on it and he should be back shortly. So at least that's the best of information I can give you at this point. And then of course I've seen a million questions on what does Richard do? And I kind of think it's funny that everybody wants to know what he's doing because what you're doing in life doesn't really matter as long as you do it well and you put a lot of effort into it. But Richard uh, started, started as a painter from the beginning, right? Yeah. At his dad's company. Worked his way up, eventually bought the company and has since worked probably harder than anyone I know and built a um, couple companies around the paint and construction industry. Still working quite a bit, but not as much as he used to. But whenever we see these comments and we talk, he's like, 
it's funny like okay so I work with paint I don't think the that's the answer that it feels like a lot of people are looking for shortcuts to make money but as we said there are no shortcuts you just have to work really hard do it a lot well, in a long time and and as Richard said it's important to focus on something you like and not about the money because if you focus on the money you probably won't get good at it and you will not make any money so his tip was to focus on what you like almost forgot one how is the hurricane doing and to be honest I've been so busy with the vlog and how much time that's taken that I haven't really pushed as hard as I usually do on a car build but long story short is that we got an engine update for the car but we didn't get a single instruction on how, on how to install it so it, the whole process has been a lot slower than expected but probably pretty soon I should have a fast car but then again um, I'm really enjoying what I do now and I don't feel the stress to have a supercar so maybe it's just me getting old so I yeah just not stressing about it but probably soon I'll have a car but until I have it I love my golf car me too and Yanni and then I've seen a question that has been up about a million times and it is what kind of sunglasses I have and these are a pair of Dior's I have no idea what brand they are, but I'm sure if you Google no. Dior, you can find them. Brand, you know. Ah, <laughs> model. What model they are. These are also Dior. Still no idea what model they are. But at least hopefully that can answer some questions about the sunglasses. Uh, I have one final question, but I got to take up my shirt for that. Because I get asked what this scar is and what happened. And I wish I could say it was a shark attack. Unfortunately, it was a party that one sour. I was on the top of a DJ booth dancing and I was gonna go down, fell and crashed. And then Yanni's like, oh my God, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, woo, no problem. I didn't even realize that it was bleeding and cut up pretty badly. So I had to go to the emergency and spend uh, the night there and get 25 stitches. For some reason it hasn't healed up nicer than this, but who cares about a scar hand there? So I hope that was some good answers to a couple questions I've seen a lot, but um, I think it's time for me to call it a day, import, export, and do all the stuff I do. And then we will check back tomorrow. We are, go we are going to Barcelona tomorrow, right? Oh yeah, I wasn't sure whether it was tomorrow. We are so bad at planning. We can never figure out what to do until the same, very same day. Either way, we'll see you tomorrow.